Hi guys, welcome back to the Trading Post. Hi. We uh, this is uh, just for the last two days. Um, it's still kind of slow. I need to pick up my game because these last two days she crushed me. It's a pretty good judgment on items because uh, she has six, I have four. We have ten total for just over two hundred eight. And they're not all silverware or housewares. Well, none of it's really silverware. No. Well, no. one's not silverware, but it's housewares. I got a big one, so stay tuned. What? You're a dork. <laughs> wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. All right, I'm back. We're back. Uh, I'll well, it's all about you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go and get started. What? Look at the list. <laughs> oh, I don't. No, I'm not. It's right. the, the first one is you. The pin? No, look above it. The first one, we're going bottom up. Oh, you go backwards. That's the way they came in. That's the orders they came in. Oh, okay. So, uh, the first one is this pin. Put your hand about it. Um, look, I did the whole thing like uh, resale CNY. I put the cardboard behind it. I got it at the yard sale about a week or so ago. We were arriving late. I don't know what it stands for he listed it's it a uh, military army army tiger division pin from the korean war yeah um double pin back oh you heard it she said i listed it so i'll get 10 yeah. percent huh, whatever <laughs> i was surprised he actually listed it um but they were closing up at the end of the day and they were just like almost giving stuff away so i don't even know what we paid for all of it but um got a good deal it sold for 14.95 I'm gonna start out with my big one right here. This is a. Oh. A, don't laugh. <laughs> we might make money on it. This is a, a book, Jonah, Navigating Life Interrupted. This came in that big, huge book haul that we got multiple listings on some of the books. Um, I went ahead and listed all of them, but this one didn't have a quantity count, but most of the others did. <laughs> this one sold for a whopping $1.50. Yeah, told you I was going to start off big. I'm taking that to the bank. <laughs> yeah, I won't even buy you a pack of chewing gum anymore. But uh, yeah, by the time we ship it and everything, we will probably make 75 cents or so. But you're going to look the long haul on that one. I mean, you've got huge quantities on that. So well, maybe yeah. not that particular book, but... Yeah, we paid $25 for three huge boxes, so... Yeah. And books are pretty easy to list, especially if they got the ISBN on the back. So it, it didn't, what? Speaking of books. Oh, yeah. Speaking of books, Tim, I hate you. <laughs> TN Pickers. Hate is a very strong word. We don't use that okay, word. Okay, Tim. We don't hate you. I dislike you strongly. <laughs> All these books that Tim had, because uh, they're moving, um, he didn't want to deal with the books. Tim from TN oh, Pickers. Yeah, TN Pickers. Uh, he didn't want to deal with the books, so we was over there the other day, and Christina grabbed them all. Um, boxes and boxes and boxes, but they were free. But on top of her project of silverware, her project of knives, now she wants to throw in books. That's all her, and they're sitting in the living room right now. She's already went through at least one box. Yes, and um, I found three or four books that have been autographed. Oh, the autographs are worth more than a dollar fifty. Yes, sir. <laughs> And the books were free. So. All right, yeah, that's my, my that's my big one. Okay, so my next one is a owl. It's kind of like patriotic um, nurses. Scrub. Oh, there you go, add girl. I kept wanting to say smock. Uh, scrub top. I paid 50 cents for it and it sold for $13.99. And on scrub tops, they are very slow. But if you can find the Disney ones or nice patterns like this, the generic patterns usually don't sell, but owls seem to be in. So, um, you probably owls only, and patriotic. Yeah, and you probably, 
you can get those all day long usually at, yeah. at good yard sales for 50 cents to a dollar. And this is brand SB Scrub size large, and it's in excellent brand new condition. I I think I'm just gonna take a nap because I pretty much. Nope. Okay, yeah. So the next two are mine as well. Rub it um, in. The next one is, uh, okay, this is my housewares one. Utensils. I got this at um, Goodwill. I think it was $2.99 for all three. Uh, they are, believe it or not, they're called Ultra Temp. I had never seen them before, but they're like Vision Square. They're plastic. They're see-through cranberry. Um, what year were they from? It doesn't oh, say, but they're, oh, yet. wait, no, it did say on the back. No, that was the model number. I'm sorry. But they're vintage Ultra Temp kitchen sets. Lot of three cranberry vision cookware spatula. Sold for dun 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 thirty-four ninety-nine. And sold within forty-eight hours. You can't compete with my books. You can't compete with my <laughs> silverware, my I can't even my, beat plastic. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's with all of my cells, I think. Yeah, so, yeah. Never pass up utensils. Sorry. It's probably loud. Echo, for sure. E-K-C-O. That's a good vintage one. Uh, Foley, and now we've learned Ultra Temp. So these, I don't remember what I paid for them. Well, Dr. Scholl's. Probably no more than $2 if it was a yard yeah, sale. Yeah, I don't think so. It was a yard sale up a... Uh, the road um brown springs uh don't remember what i paid but they sold for twenty dollars and we've had them maybe six months we did have a lot of shoes and we used to sell Pretty. a lot of shoes but since we've been up here we haven't really sold a whole lot but it seems like they're starting to pick back up a little bit yeah not too bad on the bottoms either yeah they're really close to never and being worn we have the box so that's always a good I have two more left. Is it still me? I'm still waiting. It's still you. Oh, I have one more on here, and then it's you. So this, I saw two of these. Uh, where were we at? That's uh, Cher, Grand and Grandma. Oh, this was? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's two of those in there. So he actually saw them, turned them down, and then I saw them, and I said, hey, what's this? And I wanted to get them, so I got them. I was on a mission for video games. Yeah, so he passed them up. And then I picked them up. I was on a mission for video games. So he could have had these. But I got video games. Yeah. But they're old school um, vintage Archer Road Patrol AM bicycle bike radio horn radio shack working. That's where it would hook onto the bike. That's your horn. And then that's your radio stations. And then you got your safety light. Oh, and they work. Honk, honk. Um... With shares, we probably paid maybe a quarter, uh, maybe 10 cents a piece. And this one sold for $20. And again, thank you, Cher. Yes, thank you, Cher. Green and Grandma, go look and look her up, like, subscribe. She's awesome. Yes. So she's she treats us well. All right, I'll pass it over to him for, for a oh, minute. I do have one more left. It's finally my turn? Yeah, it's finally your turn. Wonderful. This was in... Oh, and you get to do three of them, I think. Oh, sweet. All right, so this was in a box lot I got from Robert, Rebel Reseller. Um, he, they just didn't want to lose money, and he knew that I would list them because I don't think they wanted to deal with them too much. So um, I bought several of them from him. They were $1.50 a piece. This is a Lost Planet number two for the Xbox 360. It is complete. It sold for $7. I worked up a sweat on that one. <laughs> um, this came out of the huge comic book lot that um, I had purchased when we was in Florida. I'm still going to take claim on this one, but she didn't really have a fair shot at it because she was still working at the time. I so, wouldn't buy comics anyways. Well, yeah, I know, but anyway, um, paid $250 I mean... for a big milk crate full. And one of the first ones I pulled out was, um, you've probably heard this story before, it was a Shang-Chi comic. I believe it was number 15, and it had just been announced that they were doing a movie on him. So that comic skyrocketed, and um, it's it almost sold for as much as I bought all the comics. So we're not really into this a whole lot. 
This is Xenozoic Tales number 13. I've sold two or three of these already. Uh, and I've never heard of Xenozoic, but they seem to be selling more than any of the other, other comics I have right now. But uh, we're pretty much into this for nothing, and it sold for six sixty. Do you I'm have out. any that are in the double digits? I'm out of breath. I need to I need to get me something to drink. I'm talking so much. Do you have any that are in the double digits? Nope, not yet. Well, they are. Well, dollar six sixty. How much does that sell for? I'll get to it. They they kind of are double digits. It depends on taxes and shipping to edit in and everything else. All right, so this came out of a two dollar bag. This came out of my two dollar bag because she got a two dollar box. But I went through and listed them, tried to pull out what I could. What? I thought the dog's uh, under the desk and he's just looking so cute. <laughs> so I listed everything I could. I, I try to go for anything five dollars or more. Um, I think we're going to change our mindset on the minimum that we're going to list. It depends on what it is, too. But this is a step two plastic toddler bat. And it's really thick. I don't think you can, you can hurt somebody really bad with it. Yeah, give me a thing. No. But, again, we're probably... This has already been paid for because... stick with the knives, then. Knives <laughs> out. There you go. The, the bag is already... The box... Wait, the box. You had the box. I had the bag. The bag has already been paid for one thing, so this is pretty much nothing, and it sold for $6. Shipping would be really easy on this, too. I do roll my eyes a lot, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> All right, show off. Oh, this is the last one? Yeah. Oh. You got the first one and the last one, I think. Yeah. So this one is kind of like free. Because I saw a purse and this was hanging off of it. So I thought it was an MK purse. So I just grabbed the purse. It was at Goodwill. And it was four ninety nine. MK is Michael Kors. Some people may not know. I wouldn't know if I went around here. Oh, that's true, I guess. I don't know. So, anyways. Um, Another eye roll. <laughs> She's trying not to. You need to wear sunglasses. That way I can't catch your eye rolls. Uh, uh, yeah, I probably should. <laughs> Blacked out. <laughs> um, anyway, so. And the purse, it was kind of looked like it could be MK. So, um, I picked it up for four ninety nine, dollars And it, it wound up being... Um, basically a no-name purse so but i list it for twenty dollars anyways and that'll be on uh the next short that i do for listings but anyway so blah 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 blah, blah yada 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 listed this for 9.99 lady sent some questions last night answered them and she wound up order a i can't talk wind up purchasing it today for nine or no 850 she's dang it you had it listed for 9.99 Yes, and she sent a message saying, send me an offer for eight fifty plus shipping and I'll buy it. So we did and now so it sold for eight fifty. And it's just this little tiny it's just a little vinyl strap with the tiny little MK silver logo. Sold. Eight fifty. Free. Dun dun dun. So yeah, um we kinda did the numbers. I didn't want to add it up because it doesn't it's not fair this time. But <laughs> I did double what he did, and I only spent like maybe five dollars. Uh, probably less than five, and I spent. I probably spent maybe two dollars, but she still doubled me. Yeah, actually, I spent less than five dollars. Yeah, yeah. And I think her totals was somewhere around a hundred dollars or so, and mine was somewhere around. I was about to say forty. There's no way it was forty. No, Pro probably about twenty-five. Six, six, Seven. one. Oh, seven. Whatever. He's six, one fifty. Very little. Eight, ten. Fifteen, ten. And the bat. You know. Oh, Twenty-one, well, ten. Probably. Hey, it all. It, it's all sales. Doesn't yeah. matter. As long as we can keep getting stuff sold. As long as we can keep getting sales, it does not matter. Eventually, those bigger ones will catch traction. At least we're hoping. Um, we're listening like mad people right now. And he's actually listing. Well, they're Double. video games and comics, so it's easy. Yeah, but he's not hitting the huge pile behind my desk. He's doing the little things. They all got to be listed. Yeah, but if you would help with the bigger items to create more space. 
Okay, just for clarification. So we can empty out the Jeep because our Jeep is now storage. Just for clarification, I looked, and so far for the year, comic books is our number two seller. So why wouldn't I list comic books if that's our number two seller? Because we need space for right now. Don't concentrate. Do a couple comic books here and there. I know. Considering you're just listing them as drafts right now. No. No. You're not going to list today, so they counted for today. And also, video games is in our top five, too. This is going to just be an ongoing. Video games is in the top five, too. So if comics and video games are in our top five for the year, why wouldn't we list those? And isn't Silverware in our top five? Yes. So why would you And list... I haven't listed Silverware because I'm trying to get the big bulky stuff done. Why would you list big shit if we're selling the other stuff? Because I want to get the stuff out of the Jeep and you want to go sourcing, don't you? Oh, we're going sourcing. Oh, no, we're not. I am. Because I am not going to put no more stuff behind my desk because I'm I can't move my chair. I'm going sourcing. Saturday, there's a, a 30 mile sale. Well, then you better start listing some of this big stuff. Can't you said no start listening today? Okay. Welcome to my world. We'll have some more added to this. So, uh, yeah, if you want to tune in and listen watch, to the argument, yeah, listen to us bicker back and forth. It's probably better than my cells, <laughs> definitely, because my cells are really terrible. So, yeah, more comedy coming from the Trading Post. You if you want to call it comedy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back, and we have an additional three more cells to round off the week. Helps me catch up a little bit with Christina, but I think she still smoked me this week. So I'm just going to finish this up. There's no point in her coming over for the one that she has, but um, it's a good one. And she's, as always, over there listening. Hi! <laughs> what are you listening today? Not silverware. But housewares. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> All right. First up is uh, hers. It is Cutco. This is not the, this is not the silverware. This is a pizza cutter. It'd be kind of hard to eat with this, but uh, if it was silverware. But this is a pizza cutter. It is Cutco. We got this at our thrift store that we love going to. So it's maybe a dollar tops into this. It ended up selling for $34.99. At the same thrift store, believe it or not, this is a my pickup. This is a Scott pickup. So we found these little ruffled lights. They are little dome covers, or it's like little dome covers that sit on the lights. But I found five of these. To make it a little easier to ship, she listed a set of three and then a set of two. So the set of three sold. Uh, we probably ended these for maybe $2, same thrift store. But the set of three ended up selling for $30. And she's got the set of two listed for 21, right? I think it's 21. So not too bad. This almost equals the cut code, but this is going to be a little trickier to ship. And then finally, um, going through a bunch of games. This is not in the video game haul that, um, that we just got. This is from previous. We have eight empty cases. Well, not completely empty. They have the manual, but no games. They're all PS2. They all have manuals. There's eight game cases. This is a bat, uh, Fisherman's Bass Club, Big Mother Truckers, um, Crash Bandicoot, Wheel of Fortune, NCAA 06, Racing Italiano, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, and Call of Duty, the big red one. Don't be afraid to list cases like that. Um, didn't get a whole lot out of them, but it's better than throwing them away. Those eight end up selling for $11. So, I mean, you still make some money off of them. And if you get the price right, you know, even if you pay a dollar a piece, we're going to break even on them. But um, I didn't pay a dollar a piece on those. Those actually came from uh, Grin and Grandma's Warehouse again. Again, thank you so much, Cher. We, we made a little bit of money on them, not a whole lot, but uh, either the discs were beyond repair or they just didn't have the game in it at all. So I just lotted them up. But that's it for the week. We both want to thank you for uh, subscribing and watching. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Hit the like and the little dingy bell. Um, that way you know when we put the next video out. What? The blinky light. The blinky light. 
Uh, there, we got a, a little tiny light here in town that blinks, and that's how Donald from Mars Bargain Basement described it, the little blinky light. But anyway, that's all we have for the week. Uh, we're going to get these packed up, get them over to the post office, and then uh, get right back at it. We appreciate everybody. Have Thank you. Weekend.